I can't think of a more common incorrect execution cue I see performed on a day-to-day -day basis more than purposely flaring your elbows out wide during a chest press. If your high school lifting coach gave you this cue, or hell, even some really jacked people use this cue, and it's, it's just so common, but here are the reasons why you should stop pressing with your elbows out wide. Flared elbows when trying to train your chest put less emphasis on the pecs, not more. I'll throw some images here to demonstrate this, and these images are straight from N1 Education, as my subscribers know that N1 is where I get most of my training education, as these guys are one of, if not the leading education source on biomechanics and applying it to resistance training. So for the image on the left, you can see that the arm is brought up high and out to the side, which is where someone following the flared or wide elbow cues would be. And then the image on the right is where you actually want your arm during the chest press. The red, yellow, green, and blue lines represent the different divisions of the pec fibers and where they attach onto either the clavicle, sternum, or the ribs. Comparing these two images, you can see that when the arm is not out wide and more towards the side, all of the different divisions of the pec have their own distinct lines of pull, and they are represented by the different colored lines. But when the arm is brought out wide and to the side, these different divisions and their lines of pull start to overlap. And regarding your chest pressing, the arm position on the right puts the pecs in the best position to work during your press, giving you a greater stimulus each and every rep that you are doing. Another reason as to why you'd want to maintain a tucked elbow position is the range of motion you'll be able to achieve. When the elbows are flared out to the side, you won't be able to get nearly as deep into the eccentric as you would if you were to have a more tucked position. It is well known that eccentrics are an important part of every rep, and training your muscles at long muscle lengths with a relatively large range of motion is what you should be doing if you're looking to achieve muscle growth. So besides maximizing the stimulus on your pecs for every rep by aligning the pec fibers correctly and then performing those reps with a large range of motion, which can only be done without the elbow's wide cue, injury prevention is another reason why you want to avoid the flared elbows. Flared elbows, when pressing, puts the shoulder joint in a weaker and less stable position, and this might not cause you any issues for today, but down the road after years of doing this, your shoulder plane might be a big limiter in how hard you're able to train. And then lastly, a big reason as to why one may like the flared elbows cue is because of the sensation that they get when they're performing reps in this manner. I've mentioned it a few times on this channel already, but just because you are experiencing a sensation does not mean that it is good. Sometimes the heightened sensation could be a signal to bring attention to a specific area because something is wrong. And in this case, the probable cause is the joint being in a compromised position. Up in the corner, I'll link a video with a free workout program I made focused on developing your chest. It walks you through the exercises, the reps and sets you're doing, and other important info to get the most out of this program. Share this video with someone who you know is a chronic flared elbow presser, and they claim that it feels, feels really good and that it's going to help their chest grow, but it won't. So send them this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos in the future, and we'll see each other in the next one.